All right, guys. We'll grab a textbook, something like this, um, and then we're going to do some squats. So, video to we talk about squats and how it's something we really need in our lives. So we're just going to do ten, nice and slow. So you like to go too fast, we're going slow and controlled. Feel for what you feel. I'm feeling some light pressure in my left knee. Right ankle feels a little restricted. And we're going to do a little test here to see if ankles are holding you back or if it's your hips holding you back. The knees usually just suffer because they're doing too much. They're doing too much twisting or they're doing too much bending. And the hips aren't doing enough or the ankles aren't doing enough. So I know I didn't do 10, but you don't have to do 10 either. Just get a feel for it. Let me use my neural ball. We showed this last time. Look at that neural ball there. Hopefully you can see it. I'm going to put it under. I'll put, move it back here. I'll put it right just so my heels are propped up. This is kind of narrow. I'm going to get right in the arch though. I'm not like on the heel. Um, you can put that textbook under your heel. And let's do a squat there. So if you feel better with that squat, you can go deeper. It's easier on the ankle. That's showing you that you have an ankle mobility issue. The last time we talked about spreading the floor, that's cueing the ankle too. So we're spreading that rug, spreading that floor, spreading your mat. That's activating that ankle. It's not just this knee over toe motion, which is our dorsiflexion, our mortise joint, but also the heel gets rolled in or out. And that's showing that your tibial joint, your knee joint is doing too much rotation. Knee is, you can do a little bit, right? It's not designed to do a lot of rotation. So if it's, you know, the hips are stuck, ankles stuck, that knee is gonna do funky things, whether it's going in or it's going out, it's trying to do too much rotation. That's why, let's say bone on bone in the knee, but it's really, bone on bone on one side versus the other. So it's never bone on bone. Oh, bone on bone, you can't do anything about it. That's what every doctor will say. So loosening up the ankles, mobilizing the hips will help you. Let's do a few more of those with your textbook. And you can even add that little spread we talked about in video two. I'm spreading the floor now. You'll notice that activates that glute medius muscle we talked about, outer side of the hip. Some people let that go as they come up to. Knees go out fine and they kind of do this weird little froggy motion. Keep the knees out. Drive knees out. Press the knees out as we go up. If you're still struggling, there's still pain, we do a little workout here. Kneeling, kneeling is really good. And before we go kneeling, we do a little lunge. We did some of this video one. Really wide. Position here. Think about taking your pubic bone and you're bringing it underneath you. Now, a lot of people do that, they kind of like bend forward. Heads lifting back with the pubic bone. The whole spine, including the neck, coming back. Just holding. You should feel a little stretch. Baby's going to point to it with his feet right there. You can do some bouncing if you got the baby here. He likes the bounces. We'll get a little crazy with the baby, so if your baby just ate, you might not want to do too much of this stuff. Kettlebell works too. Grab your little kettlebell. This is gonna help loosen up the ankle. You're gonna feel this in the hip. Let's do the other side. But it's gonna help the ankle a lot. Oh, this side feels tighter to me. I can immediately feel that stretch. Spine's tall, I'm pulling that pubic bone back. A little tiny squeeze, squeeze in that glute muscle. That just helps get that back. But first, it's good to lengthen. We don't want to squeeze the glute where we do that. We don't want to really pry into that. We want the whole spine coming together. And you'll feel that heel almost come to the ground. You don't want it touching the ground. Just pulling. You notice that front foot grabs the mat. Pulling, tractioning with it. At the very end, that heel's pressing just a hair. Good. All right. 
let's take this into a kneeling position. To get down, we're gonna raise the baby, counterbalance, back up a little bit so they can see me. Raise the baby, we'll bring the right leg back. Come down and come up. It's like uh, this is the, the Lion King. <laughs> Here. The Rafiki, right? Rafiki holds Simba. Same thing where you're coming up. You can kind of swing that baby. Come to that standing position. For me, noticing this right foot stabilizing, left foot coming back. A little trickier in the hip. If you're feeling that stickiness as well, just a few reps. Make it even. In fact, go ahead and find whatever side feels weaker, more imbalanced, Whee! and stay there. We're gonna stay right here in the knee, put the baby around the knee, and we're just gonna do some knee over toe. But make sure you got that hip stretch. Whoa, same as before. Baby's just gonna go for a ride. Maybe give baby some belly time. Him to develop that neck curve. This is about him too. As you get older, you get more active with him. We'll do a little bit of baby hip mobility today too. Knee over toe. Then we're gonna do a little rotational movement. So when you're getting comfortable with this one, two hands first. Big stretch in the hip. Bring baby up. Spit up a little bit. No, it's just some slobber. Bring baby down. And if you want to hold baby like this, watch the baby. Let's see, just as a kettlebell too. Your eyes are on the baby. Bring the baby down. Let's not smack you into the kettlebell. And we're going, that hip is rotating open. Eyes are staring, looking at the baby. Whole time. Little twist here, thoracic spine. Don't get the low back to do it. You don't want your low back doing any of this. Hips, thoracic spine. You can switch sides if you get tired. If this is too stiff, you can back that foot across the hip a little bit. This is part of almost our Turkish get up. I don't know if I have enough real estate here, but if you want, you can come into a bit of a windmill. Eye on the baby. Back down. You're really talented. You can go to your elbow. I don't think I have enough space to do it. And I don't want to drop the baby either. Good. Let's switch up sides. Let's first go to a knees together kind of position. Feet really wide. Let's squeeze a few big breaths. Serve that play baby out, platter position with the hands. Big chest, collarbones really wide. If he's fussy, just play with him. Feet are, the heels are pressing away from each other. Inner thighs are squeezing towards each other. Big tug of war. Hips are gonna burn. This is a good one for set syndrome. If you have a spondylolisthesis. This one's really taking the knees out of the equation. They can't really rotate here. You're focusing mainly on hip mobility. Not really hinging a lot, straight from the side. I'm just pulling that pubic bone back, getting a big stretch. Tiny hinge. Tiny hinge. Just holding, counterbalancing. This is a great position also. Let's see if he tolerates it. Lay him on his back. You're spitting up. Yeah, swipe your shirt. Swipe on daddy's shirt here. Here you go. Whee! And he's down, and you're big and tall, and you can play with baby's legs. One is, he's gonna be looking at stuff, but keep them symmetrical if you can. Eye contact. When they're young, like he's only six weeks, you can't really see. I think he's looking at my glasses, but close to eye contact. Once you get pretty good, look with your eyes. 
Keep your neck long. Don't be hunched over your big chest. Sometimes he likes to do some squats. Picking him up, I'm using my hips and drawing back. And then I kind of lean him back. Sometimes he'll cooperate and go into a squat position for me. Go into a squat. We're going to go into a squat for everybody. And then he'll, he'll push out of it after a while. You like that? Yeah? You're just going to stay there? You can kind of arrange him. There you go, I pressed out. And he's a little young for that, so I just don't do it too much. But if he's having trouble pooping, remember, poop, squatting helps us poop. Good. Glutes should be tired, hamstrings should be tired. Let's do the other side. Bring that left leg up. This one feels easier for me, so I'm not going to spend as much time here. Put the baby on the knee. This, should, this is, this is going to take a while to get your ankles better. It's not going to happen right away. Knee over toe. Make sure the hips are doing the work here. We don't want to become the hip, driving the spine, is trying to hold length. This one I know for sure, my ankle can go a lot farther. It's less restricted, the hip's less restricted. So my stiff hip and my stiff ankle are connected. It's going to make the knee do too much. You've got two joints above and below, we're not doing anything. The knee's going to start doing too much, it's going to get angry. Might not get angry on that side, but get angry on the other side. A lot of knee issues come from ankle hip issues. Do a few baby swings here. We'll start both hands. Whee! Again, the spine isn't doing the rotation, that lower spine. It's big breath. You're filling up that low spine. Hips doing the work. You'll find you're hitting binding. It's not about going super far, but that spine did the work. Right there, that was bad. Versus the hips. Oh, it feels stick, it feels rigid. Schlubbery, schlubbery. All right, so we're on left hand now. Eye on the baby. You don't feel comfortable with it. Your baby's getting too heavy. Don't do it. Can throw a windmill in. Oh, let me just hang out there. It's not about the reps, it's about moving slow and controlled. Bringing that foot across the body is going to help you get into this windmill easier. All right. And that's all she wrote. Let's get up with integrity. Let's use your weaker leg to get up. So for me, that right. I'm going to lift the baby, drive through my right heel, stand up. Good. Throw a few squats in just to see how it feels. Spreading that carpet. My knee feels a ton better. In fact, I got a little pop, which felt great. Squat feels cleaner. I'm still gonna feel my ankle restriction, especially if you got a bad injury like me with surgery. It's a constant battle, but you wanna maintain everything else. So you got one thing that's fused or not working, it's gonna affect the whole structure. Fix it and fix baby at the same time. All right, guys, take care.